I'm Toy Derricott. I'm a poet and teacher. I'm here today um, as the co-founder of the National Organization of African American Poets called Kave Kanem. What poets are your favorite poets? I guess I, I hate to be nailed down and then have people go out and think those are the poets they should read and n not have an experience of exploring the way I explore poets all the time. You have to have some uh, respite, some place of uh, stillness, maybe even if it's just a momentary stillness. I write during the middle of the night. The brain works in a different way at that time, uh, in, the, in the middle of the night. Uh, there's a certain freedom that the brain has, a certain access to uh, language that's different than during the day. Maybe some part of the brain is asleep and allows another part to be very present and I find that part is uh, a part that speaks a different language and uh, the the demons the demon critics are asleep and so it's a it's a good time to have access to a certain kind of music and language and range of ideas that aren't permitted during the normal day I thought I'd never write about race again when I finished the Black Notebooks. And listen, I didn't want to write about it. <laughs> it was like, I did that, please don't, don't make me have to go there again. And then that happened with my last book, The Undertaker's Daughter. I didn't, I really felt done with my relationship with my father. I really felt I had explored the violence in my childhood. It wasn't easy. I did it and I, believe I deserved freedom and I feel I probably I, I wouldn't I, I don't need to write those poems again but I feel if you want to do great work you do have to experience what's human and we do go through transformations in our life and we don't and these don't happen so easily all the time. <laughs> yeah, I often say, you know, when you write, be the most loving mother of your work. You know, try to get rid of those demons that tell you you're not smart enough, this isn't interesting, this is a cheap shot, you're, you know, all of the torturing voices that are trying to stop you. You just try to get rid of those voices and just accept and, and uh, encourage yourself. But then when you're revising, you know, you have to be a killer. You have to be willing to kill your babies uh, and, and get rid of what isn't the, isn't what the work itself needs to make it beautiful.